right, so this is the quick draw. Uh, the, the gray cabinet is the quick draw auto automated spray tender system. Uh, we'll start by talking about uh, what kind of how product physically flows, and then we'll run uh, run a demo batch. Uh, so let's start by uh, looking uh, right here. These are our bulk com chemical connections. So these hoses are going to be running to our totes. Uh, then our water, uh, we've got our transfer pump right over here. Uh, so we've got uh, our three inch line that's bringing water into the quick drop. Uh, so water's going to, and chemical are going to come in. We'll first uh, talk about water. Uh, water comes in, goes, turns, goes up through our three inch meter. Uh, that's this meter right here. Then goes to the top, makes a U, comes all the way back down to the bottom, back in the back corner. We can't really see that because of our mass flow meter. We'll talk about him in just a second. And then that water is going to come to our Venturi assembly that's laying across the bottom. Uh, the front side is going to be our three inch bypass. Uh, and then the back side is actually the Venturi. So the Venturi is right here. When we push water across the Venturi, we're going to generate suction on this line right here, uh, which is then going to come through our flow meter down to the bottom and then comes through to our valve stack. Uh, so when the controller opens one of our product valves, uh, then that material will be drawn in. It'll come through the mass flow meter and be measured, uh, and then be dropped into the water stream, come to the corner of the quick draw, and kick out going to our sprayer. Uh, so that's the, that's the physical flow of uh, product through the quick draw. So now we'll uh, take a look at the controller in terms of how we operate the system. Uh, so the screen we're looking at right now is our run screen. Uh, we will come back to the run screen, but the first thing we need to do is set the, je the job up so we'll go to our job screen. The job screen, we start with a recipe. So the recipe are the products we're going to run and the rates per acre that they're applied at. Uh, so in this uh, example recipe that we're demoing, we have atrazine in tote two. Uh, we have Tomahawk 4, a generic four pound glyphosate product in tote, uh, what do we have it here, in tote four, um, at a quart and at 40 ounces per acre. Uh, and then we also have uh, one manually added product. Uh, so we've got AMS at 17 pounds per hundred. Uh, so that's our recipe. We can save a couple hundred of those recipes in the in the system. Uh, we just recall the recipe that we're going to load uh, at any given point in time. Uh, so once we've loaded the recipe, uh, then we're going to go to our calculation mode. This happens at the bottom of the job screen and is what uh, where we're going to set how big of a batch it is that we're going to mix. Uh, so. Uh, we'll go to our volume and apparate mode, and here, if we want to load, say we have a thousand gallon sprayer, we're going to load a thousand gallon batch, we just press enter. It's going to automatically calculate how much of each product we need in that batch, and uh, uh, then we'd be ready to mix. We can also calculate based on area. So instead of entering total volume, we can just enter the number of acres that we want to load for. So let's say I've got 250 uh, acre, or rather 225 acres that we're going to load for to finish up a small patch. So we press enter. Our product volumes are going to automatically recalculate and uh, we've set our batch size. From there we'll move to the top of the job screen. This is where we complete the, the rest of our setup and this is relative to the record keeping that Quick Draw does. It keeps a record of every batch that we load. Uh, and so over here on the right hand side, we can enter our temperature, wind speed, and direction. Uh, we can enter a farm and a field ID for where the product is going to go. And then the final thing is our preload volume. So the Quick Draw has three phases to the batching cycle uh, it has a preload the chemical cycle, and then water top off. So this is the amount of water that's going to be loaded before we put any chemical into the batch. That completes our job setup. So from there, we're gonna transition back to our run screen, and we're ready to start, we're ready to mix this batch. So the well, first thing we'll do is we'll start our transfer pump. Uh, Justin, if you'd go ahead and give that just a little choke. Transfer pump fired up. 
And now we're ready to press the start button and the batch is going to start. The first thing that's going to happen is our 3 inch valve is going to open. So we're going to put in 25 gallons of preload water. Once we get to 25, my 3 inch valve is going to close and my venturi is going to open. This starts the chemical cycle. In the recipe, each product has a assigned position to load. So the first product in the bag is our manual product. Uh, so we would put that in uh, through our manual uh, inductor. So we could uh, dump that in. So then at that point in time, we have an output that automatically kills the engine uh, once we've reached the batch total. And it's going to close all the valves and the batch is completely mixed and we're ready to go back to the field.